you, peeps. This is Angela Holt with Angela Holt's Designs. Um, I'm bringing to you a flower tutorial. And uh, this one's really fun to play with and uh, create. And I'm featuring Lindy Stamp Yang. I'm using three different colors. Um, the base of the flower is going to be Tahitian Poppy Teal. Love this color. Um, the second layer of the flower is going to be Delphinium Turquoise. And the middle of the flower is going to be Tiffany Lou Blue. All of these can be purchased at LindyStampGang.com. All the links below will be in the description box. Okay, so what I've done was is that I'm going to show you how to make a Delphinium or a dahlia, not delphinium, um, a dahlia, a dahlia um, flower. Some people call them adelias uh, or dahlias, or, uh, but I call them adelias. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now first, I cut out 14 one and a half inch squares out of regular white cardstock, and I um, sprayed them with the three different colors um, and now I'm going to show you how to create the petals and then I'm going to show you how to put it together okay um, first off you're going to spray both sides and you're going to bring the point I'm going to hold my hand up here so you can see this you're going to bring the points up together like that see and then you're going to run a bead of hot glue all the way down because some of these are going to be trimmed. So you want to make sure that they stay um, together. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Lindy Stamp Gang sprays are absolutely amazing. And uh, they put out some amazing shimmer. And I love all of the colors and different hues you can play with. Okay, I'm going to do another one. All right. There you go. My hands are blue from spraying and drying these. And you know, sometimes it helps if they're still a little moist. That helps with um, putting. Uh, them together if they're still just a little moist so a tip for me is don't completely dry them um, so that you can work them and pinch them just like this okay All right, now we have all of these three colors and we're going to do it in variations. Get a piece of cardstock and you're going to cut, fussy cut out a circle. Okay, just like that, about an inch and maybe two inches. Yeah, it's a two inch round circle. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start gluing the base on. And what I like to do is I'll turn and I'll do one across. Okay. I'll do one like that. All right. And, oh, I'm sorry. Y'all can't see. I'm going to move my camera. I'm sorry. See how I have it in a cross pattern. And now I'll start putting them um, in there like this. Now you might not use all 14, just always cut you out some extras, just in case you need a few fillers. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
All right. There we go. Take another glue stick. These flowers would be beautiful on scrapbook pages, cards, um, just about anywhere you want to make them. And you can do the same thing by cutting uh, uh, the same squares out of fabric and do the same thing. I don't know if it will be as stiff. But you can always use fabric stiffener. Explore the idea. And do one more. Okay. There we go. Now we have the base done. Oh, now make sure my camera. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the end of this one and I'm going to put, let's see, I want to bring it down just a little bit. So I'm going to make the point come down to there like that. And what I'm doing I'm going to go on around like this go on around like that Sometimes you have to position them just a little bit. And if you want, you can press them down like that. Just kind of give it a squeeze at the end. Just take your finger and kind of press them down in there like that. It's starting to look beautiful. See? Okay, now, um, all right, now we're going to do the second layer, I mean, third layer, and you're going to cut a little bit more off than you did on the first one and I'm just going to start and you can make wreaths um, like this a real pretty wreath and just press it down in there like that see I always make extras 
Let me cut a little bit more off of that one. Press it down in there like that. And then you're just going to put one right in the center there like that. Let's see. Kind of pinch it closed like that, maybe. Or I'm going to do another one. I'm going to pinch it closed. Now I'll tell you what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to roll it, like pinch it, like this. You're going to pinch it down, and then you're going to roll it together like that so you can make a little one, like a little center. Okay, then you're going to roll it. Now the center might be too small, which it is, so what you're going to do is you're going to cut you another one. You're going to pinch it, and then this time you're going to roll it around that one, like that. Put a little hot glue. And then we're going to do that one more time. We're going to cut another one. We're going to pinch it. And then we're going to roll it around the other side like that. See? And you're going to glue it. Like that. Now. Now what we're going to do is you're going to cut it down and we're going to fit it right in there. And cut it down just a little bit more. I'm going to glue it. Down in there. Like that. Set it open. You can see there. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Okay, so if you see any spider, uh, maybe spider, uh, blue webs, um, you can take your heat gun. And there you go. A beautiful dahlia flower using three different Lindy Stamp Gang uh, colors and um, another thing you can do let's see to spruce it up just a little bit Take your a silver dauber 
and daub just the edges. Like so. This is um, a Rondite um, Ranger dauber in silver. ready to be put on a page, on a canvas, on anywhere, or you can make it a brooch, like a, um, a clip, like you can get you a, um, oh, I thought I, yeah, get you like one of these little roach clips or whatever people call them sometimes, and you can glue it on there, and then it can be um, pinned onto something or you can um, you know do that and another thing if you can do to decorate these up excuse me is oh let me grab the box you can um, get out some uh, salmon Let's see. Let's see. I need to invest in some more stamens. Invest in flour. Okay. Like you can take the stamens. Like get you a couple here and twist them. like that and then you can slide them into there if you want I don't know how that would look so I'm gonna try it it's an idea don't have to necessarily do it see have a little stamens coming out everywhere or you can have them coming out of the center here. It's just whatever you want to do. You know, you can have them just sticking out around the center. Let's see how this looks. I used to, uh, when I've done a lot of scrapbooking, which I'm going to be doing a lot this year, um, I used to make my own flowers to put on my pages. I rarely bought flowers um, because I customized my flowers to match my pages and stuff. Yeah, you can put them around the, the center of the flower, which is probably what I'm going to do. So, I hope this has inspired you to pull out your Lindy Stamp Game products spray up some squares and make a beautiful flower that will um, look beautiful on anything you want to put it on and the color combos you can make the variated colors or the ombre look um, very fun and very achievable with Lindy Stamp Game products which I love 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 I'm a fan of their uh, sprays 
So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I used um, Tahitian poppy teal for the bottom. For the second layer, I used delphinium turquoise. And for the top one, Tiffany Blue Blue. Again, all the links will be in the description box down below. Please, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel because I'm always posting something crafty uh, for you to try and do. And uh, if you order Lindy's, tell them I sent you. And uh, be sure to share my channel. So until next crafty project, ladies. Bye-bye.